What's up, people? Welcome to Paint with Paul. Well, today I'm going to do a little bit of an abstract type thing. Got the winter blues here. So I'm using an 8 by 10 stretch canvas. Could be a flat one, whatever size you want. I'm just going to be using an average dollar store brush. And uh, I only use just the, like level one the cheapest uh acrylic paints that i could find you know no need to get really expensive ones so let's uh see what we could come up with today would have helped if i opened up this paint ahead of time all right so let's see let's do a little bit of pink We'll see how far that's going to go. Kind of painting in a little bit of a, a weird direction. So I just want to like spread this paint out. We'll have to make up this line later. And another thing you got to, I didn't notice that I did once before was... You want to check your paints and uh, see if they're going to be semi-opaque or uh, translucent. Because the translucent ones kind of fade when you're working on it. Alright, so that right here, by the way, was uh, light magenta. So now I'm going to put a little dab of uh, fatal blue. I can't really see the camera, so hopefully you can see that. And just put a little little that might even be too much right there because it fatal blue is pretty dark but we're going to still use the dirty brush and let's just brush in some blue up there and get some blue kind of stretch it out put some little streaks here and there all right yeah i'm liking that Okay, yeah, that looks cool. All right. Now, we're going to use, do the bottom part. So, we're going to use some turquoise, if you can see that. And that's kind of going to be like a little bit of a scenery. This is going to kind of be like our, our water. As again, like I said, I wanted to do something that was more of a, abstract but I mean you could do this any color that you want you know you can make the sky yellow and orange just try to get a little bit of this area here look like a little waves get down to the bottom I'm hoping you can see this Spread that all out, cover it all up nice and good. All right, so that's going to be our water. And I'm going to see if we could take a little bit of this and, whoop, and just kind of like tap in a little bit of, of that sky color. And kind of just brush it in a little bit. All right, now... I want to do a mountain. I'm feeling in a rocky mood today. So I'm going to be using some burnt umber. And let me see if I could clear this off. I'm going to put it on my little palette here. And I'll show you that. And then I'm going to put a little dab of black in there. All right. So let me see if I can get that over there. So here's a little bit of the, the brown and the black. And I'm just going to kind of swirl that around. Maybe not that crazy. I had to do some shoveling yesterday and some snow blowing. And the arthritis in my right arm, which I'm right-handed, is kind of uh, making my hand twitch. So hopefully this will come out better than I'm hoping. All right, now we're just going to take a little bit of that 
brown, but you know what? I think I'm just going to put another little dab of black in there because this is kind of like almost like that theory uh, or principle or whatever you want to call it, like one stroke painting. All right, so we're just going to get our little palette and we're just going to like take our little palette knife and we're just going to kind of scoop up a little bit on the bottom like that. And then we're just going to like butter your bread. So let's start about here and butter your bread. Just get, get some more and put it on there. You can see my hands twitching already. <laughs> this might be not come out as best as I want it to. Holy cow. But you can't see too much of the black in there. But probably on the on the on the video but once you start spreading it you'll see that you're going to start getting some of these other colors in there like you're going to pick up some of the color from the base coat you know in this case pink come on stop twitching and sometimes it takes a while to get used to this uh you know, using this knife. So you get a little bit of pink in there. So we'll just see if we could kind of neaten that up a little bit over here. It's not as much striation, I guess you could call it in there. Probably should have had a lot more black, but it's hard to, I don't think the, the video's picking it up good. But we'll go in and, you know, you could always just come back and fix that or whatever. And then let's just make a little bit of a, some little rocky stuff there. So we kind of got like this little rocky come on you could do it a little rocky ledge a little rock in the water there got a little bit of that pink showing through Boy, my arm's twitching. All right. Let's get a little, little bit, a little bit of black in there. Yeah, there we go. I want, I want a little bit more of that black showing up in there. in there yeah let's just get a little little poop right there all right all right so now get a paper towel and wipe off our pellet knife for now all right now what do we want to do with the bottom well, I don't know, the way my hand's twitching and everything with that, you know, I, I really like making the, I like making these uh, little uh, mountains and stuff. But, I don't know, let's see if we can make another batch of these mountains at the bottom. Hopefully you can see that down here. Gotta use kind of a big clunk right here on the corner because I don't know, it seems like it's a little a little bent. Let's 
Just trying to mix up my colors a little bit. Getting some more of that brown in there. And like I said, you kind of get that like little little streaks of blue in there. If you get the black, you got some black in there. So it kind of gives you like, you know, like that little shadowing. Let's make a little little mound right here. Yeah, we go. Maybe a little little I might call it like a little cropping over here. All right, well, there it is. Now, this is uh, just was another quick and easy example of what you could do. You could, uh, I could have, you know, you could do the same thing right there, and you could, uh, instead of putting in mountains, you could just tap in some different colored trees, light green, dark green. You know, you just take your brush, and you just tap, 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 and you make the trees. This could have been uh, started off with yellow and a little bit of red and mixed it together to be a little bit of orange. And then the water, if you want, you could also match the water with the sky. But I just felt like being something a little crazy today. Crazy weather, crazy day, crazy picture. All right, people, that's it. I appreciate you uh, watching along for this uh, painting. You know, we'll, uh, as we go along, we'll get some more advanced things and stuff like that but i just want to give you the main idea that you know you could just get in there and uh just do a quick little uh you know 15 20 minute painting you know it doesn't have to take you you know three four days and to make a, a, a nice looking painting so uh i hope you liked it uh i'd appreciate it if you could like the video was hit subscribe hit the bell for all so when i post the next picture you'll get it and i hope everybody's gonna have a happy and healthy new year and uh get out those brushes and start painting have a good day everyone